a look on our mind map entitled Nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a broad and interdisciplinary area of research and development activity for changing and improving the ways, the ways materials and products that created with functionalities in a more accessed way. These involve technology development at atomic, molecular or macromolecular range that manipulated mostly artificial and inorganic materials with dimension of 1 to 100 nanometer. To put it simple, Nanotechnology is defined as understanding and control of matter at dimension between 1 and 100 nanometer. Type of materials used in restructuring are metal and ceramic created from nanoscale building blocks such as plasters or nanoparticles that are themselves synthesized from atom and molecules. Although human exposure to nanoparticles has occurred throughout human history, it dramatically increased during industrial revolution. The study of nanoparticle is not new. The concept of nanometer first proposed by Richard Z. Sigmund. For centuries, nanotechnology has been developed from the steel and paint production. Richard Adolf Z. Sigmundi, an Austrian-German chemist, chemist from the year 1865 to 1929, he found colloids consist of chemical mixtures where one substance is dispersed evenly throughout another and looked at gold salts and other nanomaterial. Gold salts is a colloidal suspension of nanoparticles of gold in a fluid, which is usually water. In 1985, discovery of buckyball occurred, a round ball and consists 960 carbon atoms. In 1991, carbon nanotube was introduced. It is 100 times stronger than steel with 6 times lighter weight and unusual heat conductivity. Semiconductor nanocrystals also had been found. Semiconductor nanocrystal is a tiny light emitting particles on nanometer scale. Researchers have studied these particles intensely and have developed them for broad application in solar energy conversion, molecular and cellular imaging, and ultra sensitive detection. 2000 is an era for passive nanostructure. Passive nanostructure is the structure that achieves its intended function through stable behavior or properties. Creation, small functional structure in materials, devices and systems with fundamentally new properties and functions by engineering is involved in the creation of passive nanostructures. It also includes the synthesis, com it also synthesis components library as building blocks for potential future application. That's all about for nano passive nanostructures. Year 2005 is an era for active nanostructures. Active nanostructures is moving nanotechnology with a specific properties. Now, let's have a look on its examples. First, nanomedicine. In nanomedicine, it treats late stage metastatic cancer in animal models, animal models such as mice, using porous targeted nanostructure infused with anti cancer drug. It travels and breaks down into nanoparticles to kill cancer cells. Second, MEMS system gadget. MEMS means micro -electro electromechanical system in a form of a single silicon chip. That's all about four active nanostructures. In year 2010, it is an era for systems of nanosystems. It include it made from different components from specific molecules to produce to produce nano machines working together, nano factories or complex large scale machines, nanobots, regenerative objects. It involves trillion dollars worth in worldwide market. From the year 2015, now and for the future, this is the era for molecular nano systems. It involves the making of or made up from different molecules with specific structures. 
It focused on nanoscale science and engineering integration. And also a project improved direct measurement with good time resolution, science-based design of fundamentally new products, and general purpose and mass use of nanotechnology. So research and development is expected to shift toward more complex nanosystems, new areas of relevance, and fundamentally new products. So let's hope for the best. These are the branches of nanotechnology. First, nanobiotech is actually the combination of nanotechnology with biology. Second, green nanotechnology, which help to enhance the environmental sustainability. Third, nanomechanics or engineering, which means engineering in nanoscale. Other branches include nanomedicine, food safety and agriculture, material science and industry. Okay, let's go to the fabrication. Fabrication or nanomanufacturing is a production of the nanomaterials. There are two main approach in nanotechnology fabrication. The first one is top-down method. This method reduces pieces of the large material into nanoscale. It miniaturizes technology such as in the making of computer chips. Examples are lithography, conventional, photo scanning, nano imprint, nanosphere, colloidal scanning probe, and written in and writing atom by atom. Top down method is good for the large scale production, but it can have many impurities and are expensive method. The next method is the bottom up method. This method produces the nanomaterial from the atomic level into more complex molecules. Example are plasma arcing, chemical vapor deposition, salt gel synthesis, and molecular self assembly. It is easier to control the parameters but is not suitable for the large scale productions. Now, let's see what is nanobiotechnology. As I told just now, nanobiotechnology is actually the combination of nanotechnology and biology. So, nanobiotechnology is a field of science that utilizes biological molecules to produce useful nanotechnological products or tools. Now, let's have a look on the application related to nanobiotechnology. First, in terms of biosensors, examples are miniature miniature sensors such as glucose sensors. Second, in nanomedicine, the examples are peptide nanofibers and nanotube, and also biophotonic device. You might be wondering what is biophotonic device. Actually, the term biophotonic denotes a combination of biology and photonics, with photonics being the science and technology of generation, manipulation, and detections of photons, quantum units of life. Sorry, light. Biophotonics can also be described as the development and application of optical techniques, particularly imaging, to, to the study of biological molecules such as cells and tissues. Countries that are widely involved in nanobiotechnology are United States of America, USA, United Kingdom, UK, Japan, China, Canada, and Taiwan. Now we will see the advantage and disadvantages of nanotechnology. The advantages of nanotechnology is it can be produced in smaller devices. It has the fastest, faster processing speeds that can lead to the economic growth. It can enhance the national security, improve the quality of life, lead to the job creation. It can revolutionize a lot of electronic products procedures and applications. It also can help in creating the smart drugs. Smart drug here is a nanoparticle used in order for the drug to deliver to the target site. Next, the disadvantage of the nanotechnology. It can cause possible loss of job in traditional farming and manufacturing industry. It is a very expensive method. 
threat, threat to the environment, atomic weapon can become more accessible that may be more powerful and destructive. It has the potential health risk by inhalation of the nanomaterials. It also has a problem with civil rights and privacy. Civil rights and privacy here means that the class of the rights that protect the individual freedom from the infringement of government, social organization, and private individual. Now, we will see the generation of the nanotechnology. As mentioned before, we have viewed some knowledge on generation in nanotechnology. So, we will take a look on the examples. The first generation is the passive nanostructure at 2000. It disperses and contact the nanostructure product incorporating nanostructure. It creates the small function structure by nanotechnology to give the new function and properties. The second generation is the active nanostructure from year 2001 until 2005. It has the bioactive activity for the health effect. For instance, infusion of the nanostructure lipid carrier with the anti-cancer anti drug to exhibit its function. Second, phys physical chemical active. It can exhibit the specific optical, electronic, magnetic, and chemical properties. The third generation is the systems of nanosystem from year 2006 to 2010. It is a guided assembly. 3D networking and new hierarchical architecture, robotics, and evol evolutionaries. It is a system that uses the nanoparticle and nanomachine to work together in order to create an object or accomplish the task. The last generation is a molecular nanosystem from year 2005 now and 2015 now and future. It is a, the perfection of the nanotechnology. To fully control the nanoscale particle in the nanomachine and factories, the examples are the molecular device by designs, the atomic design, and emerging functions. Now, let's have a look on the risk of nanotechnology. First, nanoparticles can endanger the environment in many different ways. For example, contaminants in air can be inhaled and cause further respiratory problems. Besides, it can be also modified to become weapon of mass destruction. So, that's all regarding nanotechnology. Thank you.